no right to rock to one song. We all no right to any song that we're singing here today. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. If you want that people see where I'm not talking, that's what we can against me. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday as you come online. God bless you. God bless you as you come online. Share the video today. Our topic is about. Happy Sunday as you come online, please don't forget to share the video so others can have it as well. God bless you as you come online. God bless you as you come online. Don't forget to share the video for others to have it as well. He go born, some say, it must be cuckoo. That your woman, you know, getting money. Some say, I the woman may be the one. So that for what end, it will bring you money. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. Share the video as you come online. Share the video as you come online. Do not hesitate. Let's listen what is happening today with our young ladies out there. Happy Sunday. God bless you. God bless you. I still remember your sister Marima bought from another mother. Let's share the video. Let's share the video. Thank you, Jen, for sharing the video. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for sharing the video. God bless you. If you share the video, automatically I will see it from here. Share the video as much as you can share. Share the video. God bless you. Oh, God bless you so much for sharing the video. Change the plan where God gets for me. My destiny never forgot the handle. No man no fear change the plan where God gets for me. My destiny never forgot the handle. My destiny never forgot the hand. My destiny never forgot the handle. No man no fear change the plan where God gets for you. Thank you that 25 people have shared this video with their friends. Thank you. Please try to share it also publicly so I can see it as well. Thank you so much. I don't know who are those, but God bless them for sharing the video. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Today, our topic is about young ladies out there that they are very excited, excited about everything. You know, what happened is that young ladies, eh, they are very excited over everything that they are seeing on earth. But we, as their elders, as their mother, as their auntie, we have to draw their attention for one thing. Because of being overexcited, those are the things that can make them to fall into trouble as easy as everything. So, our topic today is don't be overexcited. 
young lady. Mm -hmm. The book of Philippians 4 6 it said that in everything, give thanks, uh, prayers and thanksgiving to God because God is the only one that can answer prayer. God is the only one that can bring that man that has desire, that purpose, that person that you have been looking for. Don't think that because you're over excited over nothing because there's nothing on earth. That is where you will get your blessings. No, 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 no. Just slow down for God. You will see that everything will come on His own time. And everything will have shape in your life if you trust in God as a young girl. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So. Oh. Thanks for those that they admit it. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you so much. You are, you are so blessed. You are so blessed. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. You are so wonderful for admitting the video. Rosie, Rosie, happy Sunday. Please, as you come online, share the video. Oh, thank you. God bless you guys. God bless you. Oh my God. I'm so blessed. Don't worry, I can't see you here, but I'm seeing you in this other side. And hear me well. Now God go judge you. You ain't something you see her. Uh. Now God go judge you. You ain't something you believe. Now God go judge you. And not be worried. Those are people that like gossip anyhow. Because I get God when I hear the man. People talk. I'm sharing the video, that's why. Right. Jesus, 
about how many people they are there is not about but all I know is that they are people are already watching because I've seen, seen 26 share I've seen share from other people but I can't see them live but I know that what I know is that they are there they are sharing and they are listening as well the most important thing is for the message that we're about to share to go around for the young girls that they are out there thinking that life is just all about excitement no I would like us to take a word of prayer before we start. Let me load this. Father, my Father, we want to thank you for this wonderful and blessed day that you have called us together, Lord. We want to thank you for your protection all night and make it possible for us to see this day of today. Father, we thank you for your great support, your great protection, your great guidance upon our life and our family members as well. We thank you for the life of our friends, young sisters, young aunties, young mothers out there, Lord, young uh, people that they are ready and willing to serve you, oh good Jesus. Father, you are the God, the giver of everything that we, we see in this world. We ask not in naked we came and we naked shall we return, Lord. We pray that may you help us to focus on the cross of Calvary. May you, we focus on your cross to see the pain that you went through for us to be who we are today, Lord Jesus. Father, we pray that may this word that we're going to share today, Father, may it touch each and every one of us out there, Lord. And may it bear fruit in our heart and in the heart of our sisters, our mothers, our aunties, and all those that they are listening as well in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you because you are the God of impossibilities. Father, we thank you because you are the one that can make things possible in the life of this, our family members that we are praying for them, friends near and far, Lord. We know that distance is not a barrier in a spiritual realm because you are the omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscience God. You are everywhere at the same time. We know that whatever prayer or whatever topic we are going to share here today will reach your children because you are you see it from the deepest center of the world in Jesus' mighty name. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we glorify your name, we magnify your name, we 
we lift up your name today. We say, Father, have your way in our life this morning. Have your way in our life this afternoon. Have your way in our life this evening, wherever country that we find ourselves. We say, Jehovah, may your word speak on our life. May your word speak to us. May your word speak through us. May your word speak in us in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. So, yes, so, the husband and wife. Um, our topic today is about excitement. Excitement. You know, young girls in this life, they are so excited about everything, but they don't know that being excited in things of this world might lead you into trouble but when you are being excited in that extent in prayers you will see that god will stand by you to make a way where there seems to be no way because this world is full of its own self this world is full of a lot of strategies that and difficulties that we can't understand if we don't have god in us if we don't have christ in us we will see that we will live we will fall into many many troubles so what i'm trying to tell you today is that as a young girl, as a young auntie, as a young sister, you have to be very careful the way you are excited about things of the world. Because things of the world can lead you in your early grave. Things of the world can lead you in, in, in a deep situation that you can't be able to find to come out. Things of this world, when you are so excited about them, you can be involved in many difficult situations that you can't even come out and people will not have the means to help you out because you accepted it because of excitement and you see that, oh, if you are there, you will be comfortable and you will find yourself, uh, you know, whatever you want, the million, whatever you want. Thank you, Mori Natao. Thank you so much. Happy Sunday for coming online. God bless you, my beautiful sister. Thank you so much. Please share the video as you come online. So you will see that many young girls that they have been so excited in many things today they finally get themselves by committing untimely abortion unwanted pregnancy and they find themselves in early grave we will see also that many young girls that they are so excited because they want to they want to meet up with that level they forget to know that by working on their own self god can stand by them thank you my dear sister god can stand by them and help them to make to meet up with their need and they will live that same life that they wanted to live but because they want to be in a rush and they are so excited because they are seeing their friends that they are in this situation they are in this good condition and they want to live that same life as their friends are living my dear they finally end up in early grave which is not good these are the things that i just want us to talk about because our young sisters today they are finding themselves in a difficult situation because there is no one to advise them there's no one to talk to them there's no one there to be by them to tell them that this thing is wrong and this thing is right or this thing is like this you have to come to god you know seek first the kingdom of god and every other thing shall be added unto it god is the only giver of life god is the one that owns everything that we see here on earth we own nothing we came with nothing and we shall return with nothing because this world is already full of its own so the first chapter in the bible that i'm going to take you is the book of philippians 4 6 we say be anxious about nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to god you see be anxious about nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication and make your request be made and let your request be made known to god because we have a lot of requests when we bring it to god and you let your father in heaven know what you want as a young girl as a young auntie you that you are struggling well cosmos thank you so much happy sunday thank you for coming on god bless you god bless you so much thank you so much and you will see that God will make a way where there seems to be no way in your life. 
God will open more doors in your life because that God has already given you a promise that if you come to me with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, because you have to thank God for who you are as human being, you have to thank God for that age from 0 to 18, 20, 30 years that you are, is because of God, it's not because of you. Oh, Ashanti, God bless you. Happy Sunday. Thank you for coming on. You know, it's because of his grace, it's not because of your power, it's not because you have a lot of strength, it's not because you can fight it all on your own, it's because God has protected you up to that level for him to see his glory upon your life. But by God seeing his glory upon your life, you also have to bend and kneel down in prayers. Come to God in prayers, thank God every blessed day for what he has done in your life. Thank God. For the life that you are living, thank God. Don't be saying that, oh, I'm not happy about the life. There are many at that your age, lying in the graveyard, lying in the mutuary, those that they were supposed to get married at that moment, they are in the graveyard. You don't even know what happened. But when you can see the broad daylight, you can see the daylight, you can talk with anyone. The only thing that you need to do is to thank God. It's to thank God. God gave you two eyes, two hands, mouth, legs that you can walk. You can walk. <clears throat> when you are walking, you can provide everything that you need. You want to build a house with your heart level, God will bless you upon that. But if you stand and say that, no, you want to be overexcited to get to what to want things on earth faster than whatever you think that God can give you. My dear, be very careful. There is accident ahead. There is trouble ahead. There are things that you won't be able to carry them. They are there awaiting you. If you want to be excited with this world, be very careful. Because there are other things under that you will never know. It's only God that can see those things for you. You will see people with big cars, people with big houses, your friends at your age. 20 years they have cars, 20 years they are riding in big jeep. They are riding in their own buildings. You don't know what is happening. You don't know where they are involved. You don't know where they have put themselves. They're on your own heart level, struggling to see how you can your ends can meet. Believe me that God will bless the labor of your hands. God will bless the fruit of your labor. Believe me because I know the God that you serve will never disappoint you nor forsaken you. Because if you read the Bible, you will see that God has already given his promises that I will never abandon you nor forsake you because he is always there for you. He is always there for you. No matter how hard you suffer, no matter how much you struggle, no matter how, how hard you think that you are suffering, you are going through difficulties you can't make it you can't you you are you are suffering but God sees God knows what are your heart desire God knows the way to bless you don't think that that you're struggling that your suffer will go in vain God sees and God knows what you want in this world God sees from the deepest place in the heart of human that you cannot see you can stay with somebody in the same house you don't have, know the heart of that person but God already know what that person is thinking about you God already know what the the plan that person has for you. So the same God that sees your labor, the same God that sees the sun that you go every day and every night, you come in, you come out. God sees and God knows that this my daughter is suffering. This my son, I have to bless him with the fruit of his labor. Everything that you're doing can never be in vain because the same God that is yesterday and the same God is still today. That will never abandon you. The same God that will keep protecting and fighting for you. That same God will carry you on to that level that you want to reach. But on your own, if you think that you can do it on your own as a sister, using your body, that you can take it to make money. Be very careful the way the enemy will arrest you on the street. Happy Sunday, Yvette. God bless you. How is everything? How is mom and our baby? Hope she is fine. So, you see that God has planned everything according to how he wants you to live your life. God has already planned for you. As a young girl, don't be overexcited, thinking that if I have this rich man, I will be rich. You can go to that rich man, that rich man used you for ritual, to multiply his wealth. You can go to that man, that man used you to make money, to help his own family. You can go to that man, that man used you to make, to continue making his wealth. You think that because you are so beautiful. Oh, thank you, Donna, thank you so much. Tony, thank you. Happy Sunday for coming on. God bless you. 
You can go to that man thinking that because of your beauty, that man will bless you. That man will give you all the world that he has been suffering, using other people's blood to make that money, using people's wealth to make that money. And you think that when you will go there, he will just use the money and dash you. You don't know that there is something awaiting you. Suffer for yourself as a young girl. Work hard with your own hand. God has blessed you. I know I will always talk the story of this young girl in Ghana. This girl don't have any hand. But she has short hands. This girl is a tailor. She can work on her own. She is very hard working. If you go on my profile, I always share this girl because she inspired me. How can a young girl without no hand, without no neck, be so hard working like this until a man come to marry her? And today they are blessed. Thank you, Rosie. God bless you. Happy Sunday. You know, and God bless you. You have two hands. You have two eyes you can see. If God can bless someone like that sister, what about you? Happy Sunday, really. This God bless you for coming online. Please share the video as you come on so someone can be blessed. So if God can bless that young lady, if God can bless those that does not even have hands, that does not even have legs, but you, that you have everything, you think that because of your beauty, you can sit on top of your beauty and render it useless, there is God that sees you. Don't think that you are using your body for money, you are using your money for any kind of thing. You are using your money because you, have, you want to achieve your goal, because you want to be rich, because because you have want to have that wealth, my friend is having a very big um, restaurant. My friend is having a very big uh, bank. My friend is having a very big company. I want to be like them. I want you have 24 years, you have 25 years, you are 30 years, you are 35. You have not even gone anywhere. You have a long life ahead of you. Why can't you work on your own? Trust in God. Put your confidence in God. Tell God that anything that you have given to that person, I know with my own heart level, you will bless me. And I will be what I want to be in future. Why did Psalm 23 says that? Let my enemy live long and see what I will be in future. Why? Because God has given that promises that I will never abandon you, nor forsaken you. But if you try to force things on your own, try to be excited about everything that you see around you in this world, as a young girl, you will not enjoy those things. Your enemy will instead turn and laugh at you. Why? Because you didn't believe God on his word. You didn't hold God on his word. Because his word will always come to pass. You like it or not. This God that you are serving, the God that I know has never abandoned anyone. You can be in a deep situation today believing that God is not seen. Cry unto him by believing him, holding him on his word. You will see that God will make everything to come to pass in your life in Jesus' name. I tell you the God that you are serving is not sleeping. The God that you are serving is not a deaf God. The God that you are serving is a living God. The God that you are serving is not a God that will promise you and fail. No, God is not a man that fails. God is not me and you. Because God promises will always come to pass in your life. If you hold on God, let's quickly go to the book of 1 Peter chapter 3 verses 12. What is he saying? For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their prayers, but the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. The eyes of the Lord Focus on you. No matter how hard. Thank you, Delphine. Thank you so much. God bless you. Happy Sunday. God sees you. God knows what you are going through. God, yes, are always on your on your side to hear you calling on him, to hear you crying, to hear you saying that, Father, I'm here. Please help me to go through this day of today. Father, bless me this day of today. I pray for your blessings and your favor to follow me this day of today. As a child of God, when you call God with faith, God will never abandon you because he already know his plans for you. Because if you read the book of um, Jeremiah 29, you, um, I think 17 or 19, it says, the, the plans I have for you is to prosper you and give you a better future. God already knows his future with you. God already knows what he has planned for you. God already knows at 11, sorry, 29, 11. God already knows what he has for you in a storehouse. God already knows what he has planned for you. 
Don't think that you are doing things on your own. No, there is a plan that God has for you. There is a future awaiting you ahead. There is that blessing that God has kept for you in the storehouse. Don't think that you are walking alone. Don't think that you are walking all by yourself. There is already God that has made every impossibility to be possible in your sight. You might be going through difficulties now, but there is a blessing awaiting you ahead. You might be going through hardship now, but there is that God favor that will always favor you at that moment. Don't think that you are walking all on your own. God is there. God has already making his provision in your life to come to pass. When you think that God is not hearing you, that is the time that he is preparing your blessing to bless you. But many people, many young girls, that they are overexcited in this world, they don't receive those blessings at the right time. Why? Because they think that God does not hear them and they want to make it on their own. And they want to make it fast, fast, fast. Don't think that you are faster than God. I'm telling you. Some people, they say God is too slow to answer. God is not slow to answer. Just keep calling on him. Ask Asking him whatever you want to ask. Pray without ceasing. Don't think that God, God knows. God sees. God understands your heart desire. And God knows also how limited is your patience. Don't think that God is just, when they say God, you are full of yourself. God is all by himself. Let me tell you, there are many things that God does in this world that you don't even know, you cannot even talk. God sees from the deepest place, the deepest end of the earth. God sees, and God knows the plan of your mind before you even open your ideas up to other people. God already knows what you are thinking. So why not abandon yourself as a young girl? As a, You know what happened is that I always admire young girls that they get married early and they are busy working themselves even they, they are they are single they are not married i admire them when they are hard working you know why because at some certain level you will talk with one girl they, i saw that girl she was uh 26 she said auntie this is my plot i just buy this one so i want you to come and pray for it i was like wow you know i know what this girl is doing she has been selling a crack selling back selling puff puff every blessed day for a year this girl could gather this money to buy a lamb i said to myself that then it's only a lazy girl that can sacrifice her body for money out there that can be excited about another man world that can be excited about another person um, struggles that that man if i love that man if i give him my body if i give him everything that i have I'm so beautiful. He will build a house for me. He will, you didn't know how that man suffered to make that money. Or did you know how that man get, come to get all those wealth? No. That is why they are using young girls today in ritual. Because you will think that by having all this thing, oh, you, you, you are already okay. This man uh, will help me. My family, you know, I'm coming from a poor home. I don't even know where to start. You have everywhere to start. There are women that they are looking... Happy Sunday, Daniel Teres. Happy Sunday. God bless you for coming online. There are young girls there looking for where to sell for poor because they want to end their living. Looking for who to give them even 5,000 francs to start their business. There is a lady that me and my husband were blessed last year. That girl started a small restaurant. But today that restaurant is very big. Very, very big. And we are here every day adding for that girl, blessing her wife because she made up her mind. She opened up her mind and said to us that she wants even 5,000 francs, which is even which is less than 10 pounds, to start up a business. But we bless her more than that. And today, the girl is happily doing her business and the business has grown. When I saw people the last time, she called on video camera a lot of population. I asked myself, is it only this small money we gave to this girl? She becomes whatever she is today. It's like that, my dear sister. You will not sit back there and say that you can't find someone to bless you even with five times to start boiling granite and salt in the, in the street. Or start buying egg and boil and salt. There are many things you can do. If you don't have money, you can start fixing nails. You can, you can create anything. As a woman, you are so creative. There are people, I walk farm before. I, 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 I hog granite. I sell banana. I sell everything. Yeah, really, this God time is the best, I'm telling you. You know, I do most of those things just to see 
how I can earn my living. Many people are saying, oh, look at you, you are very beautiful, you are walking granot. I say, yes, so that is what I will do. Oh, Mr. Anita TV, thank you. Happy Sunday for coming on. I will sell granot on my head. I will do everything. I sold fish in the street just because I want to earn my living. People are saying, oh, you are very beautiful. You are this, you don't have to do that. I work as house get in my own country just to see that I earn my living. And my family also, they have something to eat because my mom died at early age when she was still small so you see that you as a woman you don't need to be excited you as a young girl you don't need to be over excited in any things because you will you will go and leave all those things we came with nothing and we shall return with nothing don't over be excited as a woman you can be creative there is facebook today social media anything you see people are saying um Juice Plus, this, that, 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 they are doing online business. You can put a credit in your phone that does not even cost one pound. And you do your live business and people start following you. You start inviting people to come and buy your business before you know you are boom up. You can sell fish, you can sell anything. You will not sit back there as a young girl exposing yourself to devil, exposing yourself to evil, exposing yourself for ritual, exposing yourself for many things that someone can use you to make more money in his life and you say that you are excited because you are beautiful nobody can advise you then you cannot advise yourself if you don't have sense as a young girl that your mother your uncle people around you your neighbor will call you to advise you as a young girl say hey, don't advise me because go advise that your useless daughter but that useless daughter will be something why you you will be in the grave the yard resting there that useless girl will be something why you you will be lying in the sick bed or the hospital because you have captured some sickness from somebody that your useless girl We'll be somewhere in the church praising and singing worship songs to God. Why you? You'll be resting in the mortuary. I don't pray that for you, my dear sister. I don't pray that for you, my dear daughter. I don't pray that for you, my mother. I'm telling you what is reality in this world. That don't over be excited in this world because we came with nothing and we shall return with nothing. Give that your beauty to Christ. Come to God. Multiply with your own hands work with your bare hands you are creative as a woman god has made you beautiful don't look at the face of a woman and say that i ah, look at this ugly woman because the character that she put on can be more beautiful than your face yeah for sure i did all those things i did all those things I don't, I don't understand why a young girl will decide today to sacrifice because I have seen girls that they have given themselves that oh because of this I will be that, I will be that, oh I have to buy this car, I have to buy that house. For less than two years they have like 20 programs, I used to ask them, I call this young girl, I say you are just 25 years, are you sure you are normal before you get high blood? Are you sure you don't, don't have dizziness so because I don't understand your plans are too many? What you are doing, I don't see. But the plans that you have, they are more than you. What is your problem? Are you sure you are okay? Are you living in this world? There are reality in the world. There are reality in the world. When we come to God, He has given us that promises as girls. He has given us that promises as women. He has given us that promises as wife. Thank you, Esther. Thank you for coming on, mother and the daughters. So we have to come closer to Christ so that when you are creative on your own, God will multiply his blessing on you. When you are creative as a woman, you are working hard to see how to earn your living. God will be blessing you. But when you stay back and say that, oh, there are many things in this world, why would I work hard? You will tell one lady to go and hug granola. She will tell you that. She will tell you that, oh, why will I hug granola with my beauty when a man can come there? Even a man that will come with Okada, you will refuse to follow that man because you are beautiful more than the man that is, is riding bike. You are beautiful more than a taxi driver. You are beautiful more than a truck pusher. You will take your body because you want to make, you want to think that you are beautiful. You want to show the world how excited you are with things of the world. You want to show the world that, let me tell you, we are dust. We are dust. The day we die, that is the day when you will know that your family will be crying. Oh, you are God. Just give them only three years. They will come there. They will see nothing. You have already turned bone, dust, powder. 
Only bones. When you hear that this person died after how many years, they will go and pick what? Only the bones. Because the, the flesh has returned back to ground. It is dust. It has nothing to do. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Relindis. God bless you. Yeah, thank you, Etegene. That's expensive, but they need to get with things they are beautiful. Exactly. You see, what you're saying, Etegene, that is very correct. You went to that salon. You were claiming that is very expensive, but that girl was paying bills from out of that, out of that salon. Taking care of her simply, and one other girl will just go and pack herself, saying that what I did in the salon when a man can come from anywhere, just pick you, a bush follower can come and just marry you and take you abroad. Did you think that abroad is easy? Abroad is difficult more than Africa. Abroad is difficult more than Africa. You have to work hard on your own so that before the man come in your life, he will know that this woman is not an easy girl. This girl has suffered for everything that she had. You will not just close your eyes and think that everything will just come like that, like food, like when we're small, you know, there's a dream. You will just sleep that when you are in abroad, you will just sleep like this and order food before you wake up, the food is already on the table. We are not dreaming. We are living the reality in the world. So open up, stand up, wake up, come to God. Tell God that this is what I want to be from now. Let me tell you, you have, a, you have to make a plan in your life and put it in the hands of God and see, give yourself a year. Keep on praying and telling God about that plan. But be very careful the way you are telling God because you will not carry that plan and say, God, if you don't bless me this thing this year, I will leave you. It means that you did not go to God because of what you are ready for. You go to God because you want God to make you to succeed and then tomorrow you tell God that I don't need you. Let me tell you as a, as a young girl, you have to be prayerful and come with your plans in the hands of God and make it known to him. And say that, Father, this is what I want. And these are all my plans. I put it in your hands. I say, Father, make it to be work. Make, make it to come to pass. And you will see, let me tell you. My Bible in the, in the book of 1 Peter, chapter 3, verses 12, made me to understand that God hears and he sees you. He sees all your plans. Let me tell you. We are like this. This is how God is. We are just running in the world. God already knows our heart, our plans, our mind, what we are thinking, and what our desire are. You know, he sees. He says, don't think that you will hide and go and end somewhere in the world thinking that, oh, yeah, God is not seeing me, you know, um, as my plans are. When I just get what I want from God, then I will run away my day. You cannot run from God. You will run from your own self. As a young girl, as a woman, learn to be hardworking. Learn to use your hands to do something. Learn to use your brain to do something. Learn to use your eyes your eyes to do something you know god has blessed you from the head to your toe and you think that using that blessing is just to have another man that can use you to multiply his money that he has been multiplied with other blood they will use you for ritual and you're gone your family will cry just for a year and forget about you and your destiny, your plan is dead because you are overexcited. You see a man with big car coming from wherever, coming from abroad. He's a bush follower. He wants to marry me. And uh, I don't want this young boy that we are believing for. I don't want this man. He's just a Okada driver. He's just a machine man. Uh, he's just a taxi driver. He's just a, a truck pusher. You don't know that that truck pusher can be a millionaire tomorrow. You don't know that that man's destiny is in the hands of the Lord. But you think that your own destiny is in your hands. You can't to run away like taxi every blessed day like someone that is standing on the bicycle greeting people like this let me tell you there is god thank you Delphine, for sharing god bless you you think that you are the god that sees for your own self thank you and god bless you people for sharing you think that you are the god that created the universe let me tell you my sister if god is with you nobody can be against you if god stands for you nobody can stand against you because he has already made up his mind to bless you as a, a woman, he has already made up his mind to bless you. But what I usually say to young girls is that God has blessed all the women. You have all the blessings come from God. Right from day one. Unless you destroy your destiny. Because you want things fast, fast in this world. 
Because you want to receive fast, fast. You don't want things that will delay you. You don't want things that will kill your time. You just want to receive those things as fast as possible so that things can move on fast, fast. Let me tell you, there is God. There is God in everything you are doing. Put God first. Even your enemy will run away. Even those that comes around you with double with double plan to use you for ritual, they will run away. You will say that why this man is not coming. You don't know that it's God that is protecting you and fighting for you. You don't know that it's God that has been fighting for your life because he wants to use you for his own reason, for his own purpose. You will be there saying that you have been waiting for this man. You have been planning for this man. If this man comes, you will do this. You will go and rent the most biggest house. When you know that you can take that money to rent a house, keep, keep yourself in that same carabot house, that same jaga jaga house that you are living. Use the money for that rent to make a better plan for your own future, to open your destiny. Because there are some destiny that is in your hands. When you pray and ask God that God, where I am living, if you can help me to start a small business and you bless the work of, the, of my labor, you will see that the blessing in your hands that you have already asked God and committed in his hand, that blessing will come to pass. It's not to go and stay in big houses, it's not to go and rent big cars. No, it's not to go and look nice in front of people, but where you're living is like a rat that is living there. My dear sister, you have all the blessings ahead of you. You have all the blessings in your life. You have all the blessings with you that God has already blessed you. You don't have to rush for anything. Just ask God how he wants you to, how he wants to plan it in your life and keep on praying. You will see that everything will come to pass. There is God. There is God. Who tell you that there is no God? There is God. Because in my life, I have seen God working in miracles way. In my own life, I have seen God manifesting. I know that I'm talking. People are here that they know me before. They know me before. Esther is there. Really, this is there. They know me before. They see what God did in my life. God works in a mysterious way in the life of all her daughters. In the life of all her children. In the life of you. Don't ever think that you're using someone. Allow people to play their games, but commit yourself to God every blessed day. Let me tell you, Psalm 125 says that, As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surround his own children. The God that you are serving will never leave you. Even people plan evil for you as a young girl that has been committed to God. It will never hold. It will never hold. Don't fear. Yeah, what you're saying is very correct. That children of now, they just think about money. Yeah, but there are some places, what is happening in the world today? They are thinking about that money. Is that not the same money that is giving them early death? Is that not the same money that is giving them early graveyard? Is that not the same early money that they have been worshipping, following? Christy, Ngwe, happy Sunday. God bless you. Thank you for coming online, you know. There are many people, I know my history. Many people are there, they know my history. I was, I was being raised up in Greece and they know me very well. Belgium, I stayed just, I think, two or three years. And now I'm in UK. God will take you, if you know how to labor in you with your own hands, from your blessings that God has set it upon you, my dear, you will never regret knowing God. God will take you from place to place, from grace to grace. He will never let you down. He will never leave you to fall. Thank you so much, Christy. God bless you also. God will never let you to fall because God is always there. He sees what you are thinking about. If you put money first, you forget to know, as my sister Eternity just put it there, that <coughs> money has destroyed the world today. And you will see that those that follow money, they have never received that money till today. They are still hustling for that same money. Those that they think that they are following money, they are still looking for that money till today. Thank you, Christy, for sharing. God bless you. They are still following that money till today. They cannot say, I'm tired of money. I don't want this money anymore. You will see that someone that does not follow money, pursue money, is always contented with everything that he has. He's always happy with the little that he has. You will see that God will bless that person endlessly, abundantly, every blessed day. You know why 419 they take people? 419 they take people all the time because... 
You think that the money you are having is very small and you want to multiply it. By going to multiply it, you find out, you find yourself getting heart attack, high blood, dying untimely dead because you were thinking that you want to multiply the money that God has already blessed you with. Oh, my beautiful evangelist Faith, thank you. God bless you for coming on. Thank you and God bless you. You know, you think that you want to multiply that money. That is why you will find yourself in early grave. Young girls, be wise, be vigilant, be very careful. Open your eyes. God has already given you his promises. And if you don't follow that promise, my dear, you will be one of the victims. I don't pray that any person in this group, any person in this my program should be one of those vict victims. Because the world has been confused. And young girls, they are mostly the ones that fall in victim. A man will struggle for you, suffer for you, was a, 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 a truck pusher, a, 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 a car driver, a taxi driver, you know, a hawker. He has suffered for you, sent you in school, give you everything that you want in this world. But at the end, because you see your friends that they have men that wear suit all the time. You forget to know that this man was not wearing suit when he was helping you. This man was not wearing suit when he was putting food on the table for you. This man was not wearing suit when he sponsored you in your education. But at the end, when you come up like somebody, you say that, no, um, I cannot go with you because the meeting is just for those that they are working. The meeting is just for people that you forget that this man is the person that gives you smiles on your face every blessed day when you were nothing. My dear sister, don't be anxious. Don't be overexcited in this world. There is nothing in this world. If someone tells you that there is something in this world, be very careful because those things in this world will pass away and your soul, where will it go? It will perish. The worst thing you can, you can ever allow to happen in your life is, is for your soul to go to hellfire and suffer there and suffer pains. So you better be righteous with God today so that tomorrow you will rejoice with the children of God in heaven. Yeah. There, uh, as uh, Esther is saying, the love of money is why young girls, they are killing each other every blessed day. Enter in many, many difficulty things. Enter things that they will even ask them, even their mother. They will strip themselves naked for men to see their nakedness. When the Bible said that your body is a temple of God, that same body, you carry it, you expose it out for men to be seeing it. That same body is what you will expose outside for other people to be seen and paying you money. What kind of money? That money is useless because it will never take you to heaven. Be righteous with God. Don't be overexcited in this world. Because the message today is, young girl, don't be excited because you are too excited. You are too excited in all these useless things in the world. You will expose yourself. You will stand. You say that you are doing a program on social media. You will expose yourself naked for people to be seeing you because you want to show breath. You want to show your bum outside. And you're saying that you're, you're holding God. You say you have to pray God. What kind of God are you praying when you're standing naked calling people to see you? When you're there preaching naked for yourself. When you're there preaching your hellfire. When you're there preaching your death. When you're there craving. I don't even know what to say to you. And when someone wants to advise you, you don't want to listen. You say, hey, go, go advise all those your funny children. Go advise those your people that they are around you. Why you don't advise your own daughter? My dear, I can advise my daughter, she don't listen to me. But I advise you, it works. Don't think that the child, when they call a child, is just the child that you deliver. All of us, we are children from someone. So we have to be very careful. The way we are living our life in this world. We have to be very careful the way we are living on earth. The Bible makes it so clear that heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will still stand. What are you doing about those words of God? What are you doing with the Bible? What are you holding your Bible every blessed day go to church? Or you are holding your Bible as a young girl just to wait for your boyfriend message in the church. And then your church will close before time while the pastor is still preaching of repentance. You are already outside because the man is there to pick you with that big car. You want to show your family. You want to show your neighbors that, oh, I just came. No, I kind of church is that i'm so sorry which kind of church is that 
Is it that kind of church you, just to say you are just a church goer or that kind of church that people will say, oh, I, I'm in church, I'm in this, I'm in that. No. No, no, no. Open up to God and he will open up to you. And I will take you also in the book of 1 John chapter 5, verses 15. What did he say? And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have whatever we ask of him. When you know that your father hears you whenever you ask him something. And you know that when you ask, you have already received it. Why not put that confidence in your father's hand? Why not trust him? Oh, thank you so much, uh, Daniel Therese. You, why not trust God? Why not trust in God? Why not put in all your confidence and hope in the Lord and say that he will be there for me. He will stand by me. He will fight my battle because he has already given me all his promises. Everything that we own in this world, we will go and leave it. I have seen people that they have buried them with cars. At the end, see people go and break the graveyard just to remove the car. At the end, see people go and break the graveyard to take that money. The man cannot fight. He was just lying there. He's dead. He's dead. You are dead. You are gone. You are just a flag. We are just ground. We are made ground. We are nothing else. What will your soul say? Will your soul cry for justice? Will your soul cry for God? Will your soul cry for mercy when you are lying in the grave? When you are already in the grave, it's late to praise God. It's late to tell God that Father, help me to repent. No. Come to God while you are still alive. Bless God, praise Him while you are still alive. Don't be excited about things that does not make sense because you will die and leave all those things. Why not bring yourself to God and tell God how much you love Him, how much you want to be with Him, how much you trust Him, how much you are just everything in this world about Him. Why not use your beauty and offer it to Christ? Sing to God. Praise God with your beauty. When a man comes to marry you, you say that that is not your kind. You are looking for a European husband. You don't know that Europe people are suffering than Africa. Because in Africa, you will not pay bus, you will not pay train, you will not, government will not ask you for paper to come and pay tax, to come and pay this. You will not have all those stress. You and that your husband in Africa can make it better than someone that is not. Well, I have my friends, that woman, when I go to Africa, she is the one that always stands by me like, I don't even know. I can't say. See, this girl work hard with the husband. And they have everything more than somebody in abroad. Abroad, we have only the name. The name is just the name that you enter flight. You can enter flight and go to the next, ne next neighbor country like Nigeria. You can enter flight and go to Gabon if you want to enter flight. So that people will know that you have entered flight and you come down from that same flight. Hold on on your life when God has given you blessings. Hold on that blessing. Don't, don't minimize that man because he's nobody. Don't minimize that man that God has sent in front of you. Don't minimize any little beginning, any small business that you are doing. Say that when somebody asks you, my sister, is this your business? My dear, this is it. Oh, just this small thing. I don't know what to do. What are you doing there if you don't know what to do? You are minimizing your own business. How will God bless you? You want other people to come and bless you? No. When you start with that small business and you start praising God, you start telling God what you want in your future. This is how God will bless you the more and the more and the more. You cannot start a small... Like some people, you have... You have a small uh, store, a small provision store, or maybe you start a small. I know one lady that started a small provision store. You know, he didn't. Start, she didn't start as a store. She was selling in the tray, hawking um, how do you call it, egg, granite, little little things, joint cigarette, box of uh, matches, everything. Selling in that in that. Thank you, Sister Faye. Thank you for sharing. God bless you. You know, this girl. Last year when I went, this girl already owns a shop. I said, Jesus. What happened? She said, and see, this is what I'm doing. No, you remember the ten the ten thousand you gave me the other time? Ten thousand is not up to, it's not even twenty euros. Up to, it's like fifty, I think sixteen euros, sixteen euros fifty, sixteen pounds, something like that. She said, Auntie, this is the the, 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 the the money you gave me the last time, or I just keep on multiplying. I was like, No, Marie, wake up from this sleep. I cannot just imagine. If people 
can do that in Africa, that they are really ready to stay in Africa, willing to do their business in Africa, then what about you? That you are in abroad. What about you that you are in diaspora? I don't even know which part that you are. You can make it better, but you keep on complaining every blessed day. You keep on complaining, keep on complaining because you want someone just to come and pick you. Or if you are in Africa, you just keep, you just pack yourself and cross your leg like this. Hey, no, don't worry. Hey, my boyfriend in Europe. Every day you put, when they will give you one thousand, you will go and put credit. Hey, yes, the man, yes, yes, uh -huh, yeah. That you are coming with you. Oh, don't worry. I will tell my parents. All those things. I'm so sorry to say they are useless. To me, Marie, they are useless. I never live that kind of life because I always expect for my own self. I'm that hardworking lady right from small. My grandmom teaches us what, what they call Christ. So we started Christ right from small. I can say even right from the, the, the in short, right from my mother's womb. We started Christ because we're Catholic. And everybody that was a Catholic, you know what is the meaning of Catholic? When you have a grandmother that will never leave you to sleep. Busy you five o'clock to wake up and go to church. It's not this one today that God has made you everything clear. That you can wake up, your mom will say, Hey, my daughter, oh, go and take your shower, my son, so that we can go to church. And you will be there, trying to be excited about nothing that you will take on this world with you. God has blessed you with a good mother. God has blessed you with a good auntie that can take you to church. So why not following that God? Your father will keep on singing about church every day in your ear. You will say, I beg this old man self. He will call this my old man. You will call this my master. My old man, my old man want me to go to church all the time. They don't need to force you. Serving Christ is on your own. Serving Christ is the only thing that you really want in this world. You need in this world as a woman. Serving Christ is the only thing that can bring glory upon your life. Let me tell you, God will glorify you when you think that you can glorify him. I'm telling you, bless God every blessed day. You will see how your blessing will flow. Come to God. Forget about what you are calling yourself. I don't know. You think that you are beautiful. You are not. God has all the beauty in his storehouse. God has all the beauty in his hand. So use that your beauty and serve God. Use that your beauty and start a small business. Use that your beauty and praise God every blessed day with that your small uh, business. Use that man, that ugly man, that man that you say that he is not. He cannot wear a suit. And bless God with that man. You will see how God will double bless you people. That man has every blessing that God has put in him. There is glory in marriage. Uh, you know how you will receive that glory? If you love your man and the man loves you back and you people, you people are blessed in God's hands, you will see that the blessings of God will keep following that couple. You, when you see that some people, some marriages, they are always blessed, always blessed, always blessed. People are saying that why this man is over blessed like this with the wife? They don't know that you have the glory of God upon you. Yes. A marriage with God Believe me that it will flow. A young lady with Christ, she will always receive blessings. If you have God in you, no matter what kind of wrong man we can't want to come and marry you, like a young girl, there will be suitors ahead of you. But if you keep on praying that God, let your will be done. If this man is for me, Father, I pray that today, expose him. Father, if this man is for me, show me in all these suitors, show me the right person in Jesus' name. That man will come, the right person will come closer to you. The right person. Let me tell you one thing that you, you have to do as a young girl. Don't look what the man have. Don't look his car. Don't look his houses. Don't look his money. Don't look his dirtiness. Don't look the dress. Just go to God and tell God that, Father, I don't care if he's this truck pusher. I don't care if he's this millionaire. I don't care, but what I care is just for your will to be done. Choose the right partner for me. Choose the right man for me. If he's that truck pusher, I will happily go there. If he's this millionaire, I will happily go there, but let him not be a ritualist. That will use me to multiply his world. Always call God in everything that you are doing. Always pray and ask God to always be in your life. You will see that anything that is the will of God in your life will stay. And anything that is not the will of God in your life will go away. And you will be crying. Why this man has come? All my suitors, they just disappeared like that. You don't know that it's God that is doing them. Shifter. Put them on the shifter and shift them like this. The bad ones will go and the good ones will stay. That is the will of God in the life of the children of God. If you think that you can do things on your own, it's lies. Always ask for the will of God. One of my friends we usually pray before in Greece many years ago. She's a pastor. She's a, a, a pastor now in America. 
She said to me, Mary, why are you always like the will of God to be done in your life? Why you don't say, God, this is what I want? I said, because I don't know what I want. I want the will of God to be done in my life because I know with the will of God, I can achieve everything that I want. But me, as Mary, I don't know what is my will because if it's only me, I, I want this... Uh, I want to eat that. I want to eat plantain. And then at the same time, I want to eat fufu and my stomach is full. You see how we human beings, we are selfish. Because you have everything and you still want to hold another thing. It's like you... It's like a woman that is living with a boyfriend and is begging God, Father, I need a husband. Which kind of husband you are? You have already found yourself a husband. Even the man does not fit you. You are there crying, say, asking God for a husband. Which God will not answer that kind of prayers. God will not answer that kind of prayer because over excitement, over enjoyment, as this man was giving you small, small biscuits, small, small things, then you think that live, moving from your own apartment or moving from your house and live with this man that you people are not married will be the best way. And some people will say, no, we just decided to move together so that we can save some money. You are saving that money for one year, two years, three years, ten years, you are still saving that same money. What kind of money you are saving? Is it well bank money? Is it big get money? Don't be excited in this world. Believe me, everything will pass away. But the word of God will still stand firm. And the word of God is so sweet. The way I like the Bible, eh? No, I don't think that anyone like the Bible reach me. Because I can swallow the word of God. I can stand firm to fight with the word of God anywhere that I am. Because I have seen what the Bible has done in my life. I have seen what the word of God has speak in my life. Speak through me and with me and in me and within me. And has saved me in many things. So you as young girl, young auntie, young sister, even you have a child without a father, come to God. There is God that has that provision for you. There is God that has that plan for you. There is God that has already assigned a, a promise there for you because he said, I will never abandon you nor forsake you. Don't think that you can fight it on your own. Don't think that you can do it on your own. There is God. That sees from the sacred place. And he knows what you want. And you also, you must understand that God wants you as the daughter to always be happy. I will quickly take you also to the book of um, Matthew 26, 41. That's what I put there today. Matthew 26, 41, it said that, Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And it's very, very true. Wash and pray. See, the way they say wash, they are not saying that you wash dresses. Like you're watching TV, you understand? That's which means that you should wash and pray. Because the spirit sometimes is willing, but the body is weak. Don't allow your body to be weak. Follow your spirit. If you are a prayer warrior, if you are a woman that prays, you will know when your spirit is willing to do something and your flesh is telling you to go this way. Don't follow your flesh because your flesh will lead you to hellfire. <laughs> hey God. Your flesh will lead you to hellfire. Always follow the spirit. And anything in the spirit will always give you a good direction. As a young lady, come closer to Christ. Hold on God. He is the author of our life. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the finisher of everything that we see here on earth. We have nothing. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. God knows your heart desire and God knows what you want. So, before I go, I will <laughs> want to say a, a word. My dear sister, this is an advice for all of us. Because as I'm talking to you, I talk directly to myself as well. But the difference is, I believe and I trust God in everything that I'm doing. Without God, I wouldn't be here today. So I love God in every aspect of life. I love God in poverty. I love God in richness. I love God in wealth. I would like to advise you. I was a young girl that was deeply soaked in the Lord. Soaked in the Lord. I traveled when I was still a, a young, young little girl from Africa to abroad where I spent my life, I school, I grew up in a port. I never allowed the word of God to pass me by. I never allowed the word of God to go far from me. I was always with the word of God and I'm still always with the word of God very tight. And everything that the enemy will plan for your life, if you are that so close with God, it will always cross you by. You will never 
you will never see it. You will only hear, but it will never come closer to you. And people will always come to confess to you that I almost do you this. <coughs> Sorry. I almost do you this, but they don't know that because you are covered as a child of God. You are covered with the blood of Jesus. No weapon of the enemy push against you will ever prosper in Jesus' name. No plan of the enemy will ever come closer to you. All the plans of the enemy will always die. It will always pass you by because the enemy is a great killer. He is there just to steal, to kill, and to destroy. As you, are, you as a young girl, you have to stand firm with the word of God. You as a young girl, you have to hold God tight so that the enemy will have nothing to do with you. The enemy will do nothing with your life. Um, Tambe, Ebuni, happy Sunday and God bless you for coming on. God bless you. We are almost about finishing now. So, you see that as a young girl, if you trust God with everything in your life, God will open doors for you. God will make a way for you. As a young girl, always accept God with all your heart and come closer to God. There is nothing more than God in this world. There is nothing God cannot do. You think that you are struggling on your own, you think that you are suffering on your own, don't over be excited with early things because early things will lead you in the early grave. Early things will lead you in where you will never be able to come out. Early things, where you are so excited about them, you want to grab them, you will go and leave all those things and someone else will be enjoying them. So always make your life come to God join with Christ so that you can get everything that you have so that you will enjoy your world you will not be in the hospital bed other people enjoy them for you you will not lie in the graveyard other people enjoy your world for you you will not lie on the sick bed or in the mortuary other people enjoy your world for you or you will not be in a difficult situation you are seeing people squandering your world if you are a child of God a young lady out there give your life to Christ Repent from everything that you think that they are trying to take you away from God. If you have backslide, come back to God. Accept Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior. Give your totality to God and you will see that He will surround you because He already made everything clear and that is God for you. And that promises that He, he said, it will always come to pass in your life. Jeremiah 29, 11, you, you people always, you know what it says. So God has already having a plan and a purpose for you. You understand there is more hope in the Lord than hoping for yourself. There is more hope and more future in the hands of God than believing in yourself. God already has a plan for you in this world. Don't think that you're struggling alone. God is not seen. God has a plan for you. And your struggle will never go in vain if you are with Christ and you are in Christ. He will always be with you and he will be in you. Anywhere you go, he will always go before you to uproot all the mountains in front of you so that doors will be open for you. Trust in him. Give yourself to him. You are so beautiful. Abandon your life to Christ and you will see that he will abandon himself also to you and you will be blessed and you will be, you will highly, you will be highly favored in any way and anything that you do. You will find favor in the eyes of God. And in the eyes of men. I will end here today. I still remain your sister Marima but from another mother. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you guys all for sharing and thank you for your presence today that will make it come to pass. I love you guys. I know we love ourselves because I love all of you the same. You are my family, you are my brother, you are my sister. I still remain the same as you know me and the same tomorrow. Thank you and God bless you all. Bye. Before we go. Let's share a word of prayer. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. We magnify your name for who you are. We thank you for this word that we have shared today. We thank you for your love upon our life. We thank you for your wisdom. We thank you for your daughters and sons that they are out there, Lord. We pray that may you give them more wisdom, more intelligence, give them more understanding about your word. Father, help them to know who you are and make a way in their life where there seems to be no way. Father, help them not to fall into temptation. Father, help them to be able to control their flesh. Father, help them, give them that self-control in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, stand in the life of your daughters and sons out there. Don't allow them to fall in their bad hands. Don't allow them to fall a victim in the hands of the evil ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you say as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so you will surround your children 
children father i commit all the totality in the life of your children into your able hands i say father have your way in their life in jesus mighty name thank you jesus thank you lord thank you king of glory for in jesus mighty name we have prayed father we bless your name we give you back all the glory all the honor all the adoration father we thank you for in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Oh, Devin, thank you. God bless you all for sharing. Thank you. Bye.